So here is the problem, right? Genshin Impact is racist. So you can clearly tell this is from a different game, all right? So, uh, Supreme, your robot deity, you could find that with a quick Google search. It is unforgivable. All right. So this is a voice actor for Overwatch, Monster High G3, Genshin Sucrose. They, he, she. Okay, I could stay quiet about this and protect myself, but us folks of color don't always need to stay quiet and let others F us over and disrespect us so that we can continue to advance at half the pace of our white peers. All right? They are here. They are sick and tired of the white peers suppressing them. So it's time to voice out. If you're going to use real world deities, respect them. If you're basing off real cultures, respect that. I'm fine with things being inspired by various cultures. That's awesome. Representation is dope, but bare minimum, do some research and show some cultural appreciation. Okay, so you can see one of the broad example. Uh, this is from Smite. Okay, so some, but they copied Smite one. Oh, very good. But Genshin one looked like this. Uh, I think it's the same god or something, right? Is it the, uh, it's inspired by the same god? So this is the Smite's, uh, you know, Smite's design and Genshin's design is like this. So it's no longer black. <laughs> no longer black, guys. All right, so a lot of people are not happy. You gotta be kidding me. Once again, Genshin team is disappointing and racist. Genshin, very racist. If you guys are still playing Genshin, just know that you're playing a racist game. Don't even talk about it. All right, racist game. The whitewashing of a region based in Aztec, Africa, Latin culture is insane. All right, how can a game that's attentive to minute details do this? What is wrong with these people? This disgusting behavior acting like a whole audience is Chinese is a problem. Damn. Damn. The game has a gigantic international audience. This is not okay. I regret every single penny and time I gave to this game. Holy, he spent so much money! Well, there are, there are quite a few people that voices out on, on Twitter, right? So yeah, uh, I regret every single penny and time I gave to the game. What a disaster. If you don't feel angry about this, you are probably not a person of color and do not understand the impact that these things that can be seen as irrelevant have. If you refuse to represent the people of the region you are basing your map on, then don't effing do it do another region at this point they're literally pointing and laughing at us knowing nothing is going to happen to them and again they're just going to ignore everyone's opinion and move on big creators are going to sweep it under the rug and they're going to get away with it the world is so effed up f genshin look at this white character white character white I don't know what that is. Black. Only the lolly is black. Everything else is white. I guess she's kind of black. A kind of dark skin, right? This one, I don't know. Seems a little bit of both. <laughs> no, no black archon. White. Nice. Everything is white, guys. This is the only dark skin. The lolly is a dark skin. Is it a lolly or a shota? I can't tell. It has to be a lolly, right? There's no shota in Genshin. Go tell that to the grandma that say Cleopatra is black. Not black, tan. That's tan. I mean, the, the skin, right? It's the skin. People are complaining about the skin color. Why games were better? What? Why games were better when they didn't care about real life? Wow. Racist impact, guys. So yeah, uh, it is... I'm going to sound like a Hoyo shield, but I don't think Hoyo is an international company. Also, Genshin has a story focused game. Skin tone doesn't really matter much. Uh oh. You can't say that. You can't say skin tone doesn't really matter much. I'm going to pretend I didn't read this. Wow. <laughs> he didn't read this. I want to just say that I support your argument. I believe that when it comes to skin color, Hoyo has been doing a poor job of representation. But I don't want to give a fair warning. Hoyo's Genshin team will more likely not give a damn what you think. 
Huh. I'm Mexican and I was waiting for some pre-Hispanic designs. I don't even care about the skin color. I just wanted clothes that didn't look like it came from Honkai or ZZZ. Wow. I appreciate the fact that you are voicing this problematic. I find it very disturbing that most people and creators don't see the issue in here. Like what do you mean 1 out of 10 characters announce it has melanin in their skin? See? A lot of people are trying to fight against this. Gamer, okay. Thanks for voicing this. I cannot celebrate their design when it's so clear they are doing this on purpose. They are doing this on purpose. Genshin is being racist on purpose. I understand that currently Genshin is a CN family and national game. The problem with Genshin is that it is afraid of CN public opinion since Mihoyo has many state contracting projects in CN. Unfortunately, dark skin is related to low income jobs category for CN citizens. Wow. Wow, low income. More melanin skin. That's all they know is their religion. It's their religion, right? It's very important. This nearly made me install Genshin. Based on X and representing X are not the same. As far as I know, we have never heard of Hoyoverse claiming they're going to represent any real life culture in Genshin Impact. Like Fontaine is Fontaine, not France. I do want more dark skin characters, but the whole hassle around it is pointless. Asmon said only Twitter will care. As in Asmon go. The only one being racist here is you! Chill out, dude, it's just a game. If you don't like it, then quit. No one is asking you to play. You are the one being overly sensitive here. Damn! Damn, is he the one that's overly sensitive? So some people are not happy that they even try to send a message to the customer support. Alright? So look at here. So this guy tried to send his message to the customer support. Genshin customer support. Guess what he got as a response? Dear Traveler, thank you for your feedback. Please be reminded that Genshin Impact is a work of fiction and is not related to actual people, events, groups, or organizations. We do hope for your understanding. Wow. Genshin Impact said, It's just fiction. Alright, stop trying to compare to real life. So customer service. This guy is not happy. This guy is going to review bomb Genshin. Alright, review bomb Genshin. Genshin is not real life. What kind of response is this when a player submits feedback about racism and colorism? Genshin is not real life. Touch some grass. But Genshin, racism and colorism is needs to be in the game. It needs to be in the game. <laughs> what a snowflakey era. Snowflakey era. They should play NBA 2K24. Wow. NBA 2K24. Embarrassing, unprofessional behavior from a company of grown-ups and supposed mature, well-read developers. Embarrassing and racist. Right? Is this Genshin in real life? Wow. Is their game they choose the characters? I feel like it's their game and they get to choose the characters, right? Like you're allowed to not be happy. But at the end of the day, it's their game, right? So they, they can design the characters how they want. Because here's here's what I don't think they, they need to cater towards anyone in specific. Because it's hard for it's hard for them to do that, number one. Number two. If you complain about this, then somebody is going to complain, okay, uh, add more male characters, right? There's too much female characters. And then someone else is going to complain about gender stuff or the race, the gender and stuff like that. I think this is really, really hard to change because most developers have their own vision, all right, of how they want the game to be. And it probably is going to uh, converge into some very important timeline in the future, right? So there's a reason why the, the Archon in the new region is a female, for example, right? I'm sure there's some sort of reason of that. Uh, everything has a reason. They already like probably pre-planned already, right? More dudes. I don't know, maybe people want more dudes or whatever. But yeah, like if you're not happy, I feel like there's nothing that you can do, right? If you want to continue playing the game, then you just have to be okay with this. If not, just stop playing the game at the end of the day. Um, uh, I get that people want 
their race to be represented in in the game that they play. A lot of people would like that, but at the end of the day, the people that want those things are usually in the minority, I feel like. I usually feel like people that care about stuff like that are usually really, really, really in the minority. The only way that you can prove them right is by showing that you quit the game and you can make the revenue go down. All right, if you boycott, like for example, I saw that somebody like wanted to boycott again, they have a petition or something, which is kind of insane. Why is it always from the Western countries talking about this topic? Because they are Spanish speaking people and CC from the other regions what they think about it. Why is it, uh, <laughs> why is it that the Western people have talks about this a lot? Uh, it is in their culture, right? I think the Western people tend to uh, talk about in Western, this is seen more like an issue, right? Because Western is more complicated, right? Cause like in most other countries, most other different countries, most other countries, for example, like most countries in Asia, there's only two genders. But in America, it's a bit more complicated, right? There's like six genders there. So like, it's very confusing, right? I didn't even know there's a asexual, bisexual, there's something sexual, something this, that. Like there's so many terms, there's so many terms, right? I think it's just more complex nowadays, if you live in America, there's a lot of new uh, issues, right? First world country issues, yeah. When your country is so far ahead, it, this, uh, there's a lot of issues that are being created alongside with it. They even made this new particular channel called Hoyoverse Boycott. Alright, guys, if you guys are all about pushing agenda, it's time to participate with the Western agenda, Hoyoverse Boycott, alright? So I think it's safe to say that we all had enough of the erasure of our cultures and identities. Today, I introduce you all to Boycott Hoyoverse, the new agenda. All right, guys, you gotta join the course, join the course. We will be account sharing how you can boycott. First up, spread the word, anything helps. Boycott Hoyoverse. Minorities deserve to be seen, not erased. All right, understand? Don't leave things as they are. So it's all about fighting for the minorities. Can I join? Of course you can join, all right? Anyone is welcome to join. All right, it's, but make sure you don't play any of the Hoyoverse games. If you if you join this and then you're still playing all three of it and then you buy all the, you buy package, then you're like a hypocrite, right? You can't do that. <laughs> boycott Hoyoverse. If you want to boycott, you better be uninstalling Hoyo, Hoyo whatever stuff from your, from your phone, all right? Don't let me see you. Have ZZZ, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin, Tears of Tamis installed. Fighting for stale game? This is insane. No, it's not insane, right? Please stay tuned, alright? So will you make posts in other languages? We are working for that. So they are actually going to be making posts on other languages. So here's something you can post, alright? So let's see then. Before I start this, your main focus should be on Palestine right now. Don't focus all of your energy on Hoyoverse. The Netherlands trailer is another instance and needs to be the last instance of their constant ignorance of their communities. JP, CN and Global are all severely disappointed, yet they do nothing. We need to as a community, email uh, this particular website or fill the survey about our disappointment. Your email should be formal and should not include curse words or aggressive language, else they will ignore it. Your email should also state that you will and you must commit to stop paying the money to make this situation they cannot ignore. So you must bring up these topics, all right? These are the topics that you guys need to bring up, all right? So, Inazuma's outfits and designs, Sumeru's outfits and orientalism, Sumeru's skin tones, very important, skin tones, Netlands outfits, Netlands skin tones, again, all right? Genshin's diversity, how they need to represent the people they profit from, ways to fix this and reasons to fix this, why it's important to do so, money, the Aladdin effect, creating more stereotypes and overshadowing the actual culture, how it affects the community etc. All right, very, very important, guys. Very, very important. People are un unhinged. <laughs> your Sanrito, your thanks for becoming a member. Diversity, yeah, it's all about diversity, all right? If all you free-to-play cloud chasers left the community will get infinitely better, please leave. You people are insufferable and no one cares. Damn. I'm going to make a point to play ZZZ, Genshin, and Honkai Star each at least once a day now, thank you. Whose culture is being profited from while being erased? You know this is a fantasy video game, right? Ways to boycott. Stop promoting the game. Okay, stop promoting, guys. 
I like how Mihoyo has to constantly remind Genshin fans that fiction and reality are two different things. Work of fiction and it's not related to an actual group. I see. There's a petition as well, okay? There's a petition as well, guys. Guys, this petition is serious. The petition requires you guys to sign. Okay. Wait, we are almost there. We are almost there. What? Yo, okay, the petition. Stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing in MiHoYo games. 24,000 signatures. Almost there. You guys, sign the petition, guys. Sign the petition. All right, 24,000. Almost at the goal. Top supporter voices. We call on MiHoYo to stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing in our games and to commit to respectful and accurate representation of all cultures. We urge MiHoYo to engage with indig indigenous cultural con consultants, revise existing content to ensure accurate representation, and commit to creating diverse and inclusive characters. Act now. Sign this petition to demand that MiHoYo takes action to address these issues. If we act now, we have a chance to make a difference before Nathan's release. Guys, we have to do it right now, guys. We have to do it right now. Before Nathan release. When is Nathan? Nathan is releasing in August. If you guys don't do this, no more black chicks. No more black uh, waifus, right? 1 million consultant fee. What? 25k is not even one month of oil sales. You even translated in Chinese. It's in Japanese. It's in Chinese. It's in La Solution. Uh, it's in Arab. Wow. Okay, this is serious, guys. Guys, this is serious. All right, guys, make sure you guys participate uh, in the in the petition. Why is the link so long? Almost there, almost there, all right? So this will help destroy Hoyoverse. This will destroy Hoyoverse. They are using Google Translate. Yeah, of course, right? 16 million active players who cares about 25K free to play. What? You hope they get some German consultant. No Latin? I'm sure they are somewhere. Assuming they have Welkin, that's 125k. You think all of them have Welkin? What if some of the people that sign the petition don't even play Genshin? <laughs> how, how much you want to bet? 25,000. Maybe like 15,000 don't even play Genshin. They are just here to push an American politics agenda. I bet you that's what's happening. I bet you they don't even play Genshin. <laughs> they don't even play... They just heard of it. Okay. Oh, fighting for America cause? Okay, let's go. Diversity? All right. Let's participate. They don't even play the game. I feel like they don't even play the game. They are just Twitter warriors. Yeah, I, I feel like there's quite a no there could be quite a number of them that, yeah, don't even play the game. I could be wrong, but yeah, you, you never know, right? <laughs> 